and welcome to episode 8 of Ask Ex Libris. My name is Diana van Giesberg and this is the third question that I will answer for this Ex Libris item. Are you ready to hear the question? Here we go. This week I will be answering a question by, and I hope to God that I say this right, Damien Carignan. Sorry if I totally mixed that up. Anyway, the question is, when writing songs, how do you choose what vocal style, classical, belting, mixed, to use in different parts? Do the lyrics influence the choice or is it just the music? Well, this question really deserves a longer answer. I can't just say it's either this or it's that. And I will definitely get into that in a few. But first, let me give you the short answer. Choosing the right vocal style is definitely influenced by the lyrics, by the scene, by the emotions, by a lot, actually. Let me get into that straight away. Okay, so before that I can give you the answer, I will have to take you through the writing process of, for example, our latest Ex Libris album, Anne. We write music about historical topics, and we want to tell you the story as close to the truth as we can. Which means that I will have to do a lot of research. And with a lot, I truly mean a lot. What do I do? I read a lot of books, watch a lot of documentaries, and I spend a lot of time on fact-checking. The last thing that I want to do is romanticize a story just to have it fit my purpose. See it as a painting that we choose to preserve so that we can not only enjoy its art for the years to come, but we can also admire the historical worth of the painting. The same thing goes for historical storytelling. You have to really do your research, dive into the material and do your fact checking and then tell the story as truthfully as you can. That being said, we of course do want to tell the story from the perspective of the character. I'm not really interested in telling you about the politics surrounding the character or any other boring topic. No, I want you to dive into the character and see the story through her eyes. So like I said, there is a lot of work, a lot of hours that go into doing research. The next step after my research is to make a blueprint of the story, of the parts of the story that we would like to tell you. For Anne, we've chosen three characters. On each chapter devoted to one character, we have three songs. Per song, we have multiple scenes, which means multiple emotions and multiple colors that we, through our music, want to give you. So what I will do is make my way from A to B. Then I will choose per song how to make a way from A to B and then divide the scenes, give them emotions and give them colors. I write everything down and that is what will be our guideline for writing music. During the process of writing music I will always be there even if it's just a guitar riff that Bob had already written. I will be there with my blueprint to see if it really fits the story because that is what is most important. When all the music has been written, I will try to get a feeling of the musical parts and maybe even improvise a little bit, vocalize on the music that I hear to see if there is a vocal line that naturally comes to mind. Very often these are the vocal lines that really work for me. Sometimes I go back and forth with the boys over one vocal line but sometimes it's very clear and I say no this is it. Like for example the chorus of the courtship. That feeling of falling in love with someone, being courted, feeling extra special because there's this one person who sees you, who looks through you and who admires you beyond everything that, that he or she knows. The vocal line that comes with it, this was the only thing fitting the chorus and we really built the music around that. If you listen closely, you will hear that it does not have lyrics. Why? Because sometimes all you have to do is sigh and really be in the moment. And this ooh that I use, whoo, is just an expression of being overwhelmed by the feeling of falling in love. 
So then back to the vocal line. Usually we first make the lines and then add the lyrics. Like I've told you before, we do have the scenes already, we do have the topics, we do have the emotions. So there might already be a few keywords that I really want in there. Like, for example, in Anne Frank, you have to mention the diary. You cannot not mention the diary. But the vocal lines without any lyrics are leading. So at this point, we have the music and we have a setup for the vocal lines. Then we take another look at the emotions. What do we want to portray? Belting for me is a way to express anger, being depressed, feeling this rage simmering that really needs to come out. That is what belting does for me. I will never give you just a technical, impressive note for the fun of it because it doesn't serve the lyrics anymore. The same goes for using the classical voice that is much warmer, more soothing and it goes really well by feeling hurt, wanting to cry, but also being in love, the whoo, feeling a bit cheeky, wanting to flirt, that goes with a classical voice. So then again, we have the music, we have the vocal lines and now we have this full range of vocal colors that we can use. Now let's go back to the blueprint because the answers are always in there. What do I want to share with you? Which emotions do I feel? And what is the vocal expression that does just that? Okay, so we finally arrived at the point where we will be writing lyrics. By this time, we already have quite a lot of info of what needs to happen and it's just me Going back to my research, stepping back into a broader perspective than only the blueprint and just sitting down, going through the story, trying to get into character and writing lyrics. What is very important though in writing lyrics is choosing the right consonants because not every consonant will work for a belt and not every consonant will work for a classical voice, mixed voice or whatever you want to choose. Does that already answer the question? Maybe we should turn it around. Give Anne a listen and see what type of vocal technique I use for what emotion. Did I choose to portray it in the correct way? Do you feel that it works? Because after all, it is just my interpretation. I will only sing it if I truly believe that this is the vocal color that will carry the story and draw you into that emotion and give you the feeling that it is happening to you. I guess I've been talking for a long time. Again, my answers do seem to take a while. I hope that you all don't mind. Anyway, back to the story. I guess the answer should be, yeah, maybe the lyrics, but the correct way of saying it would be the vocal colors that I choose, the vocal techniques that I choose are influenced by the story. No, the story tells me which vocal color technique I should choose. I think we should put it like that. I hope that your heads aren't spinning too much with all this information. Sorry if they do. Uh, maybe you should watch the video again and maybe in slow-mo if that helps you out with my rambling. Anyway, there are many more questions that you could be asking us for Ask Ex Leaders. Because hey, we also have Bob and Joost to answer them for you. So if there's something else that you've always wondered and that you would like to have answered, then Simply ask us in the comments down below. For now, I say thank you so much for watching this topic again. And um, yeah, maybe see you in the next episode. Let's see. Come up with a good question and uh, we'll continue. Bye for now.